During development, you'll probably find yourself needing to loop through to a certain number. So for example, if we wanted to count from one to 10, obviously this is a useless example, but you wanna count from a specific number, let's say Y, and you wanna count up from that. So we're gonna count from one to 10, Y being the flexible value. So we can use something like a for loop. We could say for X equals one, and while x is less than or equal to y, x plus plus. Fairly straightforward. We can go ahead and output x and concatenate on a line break. That will basically give us 1 to 10 with line breaks. Now, this is a little bit annoying because we have to write out this specific syntax and it does get a little bit confusing. And immediately, it's not difficult to look and see what's going on here but it's more difficult than the, uh, the, the method I'm gonna show you. So instead of doing this, we'll just get rid of this. We're gonna use a for each loop instead. So to do this, we're gonna say for each range, which will basically give us an array of a specific number to another number. So in this case, let's just get rid of this for now actually, and we'll do a print R on range one to two Y. And that gives us this. So we've got an array with values one to 10. Now what we can do in a cleaner way, we can say for each, we can use range in here. So one to Y as X, and then we can do exactly the same thing. So this cleaner solution gives us exactly the same result. So whatever you're looping through, and if you find this syntax clearer, some people might not, but in this case, if we're just literally looping through a load of numbers or a load of values, this is uh, often the cleaner way to go.